Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to make your entire Divi Theme Builder template fix. So I'm going to make it sticky when you're scrolling. And the reason this is a separate video is because we want to have multiple sections in our template. So normally if we just had one section, we could just go into the settings and say position fixed, right? Problem solved. But what about when we want to add more than one section? This solves it. We're making the entire template fixed. So I'm really excited. This is actually pretty easy. Let's get started. We'll show you how to do it. So some people were asking, well, how do you do it with multiple sections? So let's go into our theme builder. So that's under Divi theme builder. And then to our header for me, I'm going to be using this custom header right here. So let's go into the template. Okay. So here I have two sections. So the reason that this isn't working to make it fixed, um, here, here's my example, but they just scroll up the page. But if you wanna make these fixed, that doesn't really work because let's say you go into one of them and you go over here to position, like, some, like our other tutorial, how to make it fixed. Well, then you see how they, they overlap each other. And that's just not what we want. Now, don't forget, you can do a lot with rows. So like just have the one section and then add multiple rows uh, and make the row full width. So if you need to, you could go into the sizing, make the row 100%, 100%. And you could even have a different background for that row. And, and you could do this exact layout, what you're looking at right here with rows in one section. But since some people were asking about sections, I thought, hey, why not show you? So we're gonna fix this entire thing together rather than um, individually like we were showing you. All right, so we don't have to do anything in the theme builder. I'm just showing you that I have two sections. So let's go back to the tutorial. Let's grab this snippet right here, okay? So basically what this snippet is going to do, it's going to target the entire theme builder header, okay? And it's saying position fixed which is similar to what we would have done in the settings, but we want to do it to the entire thing. Then we have to say width 100% and make sure the Z index is high. So anyway, let's just copy that. And all you got to do, go over to your theme options and paste it in there and click save. And let's go take a look. Okay, so there you can see that the entire header is fixed with both sections. So you can see that it's overlapping here. You're going to want to check out our other tutorial on that. And that can be found over on the blog post. So if you're watching this on YouTube, go over to this blog post, grab that snippet, and then go check out this tutorial. So just to show you real quick, the purpose of this tutorial is to push the content down and keep that header fixed. So if I would grab this from that other tutorial and put it in the right location, you're going to want to look at the other tutorial for all the details. I'm just showing you quick that a lot of our tutorials go together. Okay, there you go. You can see that the page was about right there before, and now it's down there, so it's moved it down. Okay, so that's how you have an entire theme builder header template fixed when you scroll. Okay, so that's how you make your entire theme builder header template fixed. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure you're subscribed. Keep following along here because we just keep producing more and more videos and we're excited about that. We want to hear from you, what you want to see next, things like that. So let me know in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next video.